Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Do I look crazy today? Yes. Am I loving my makeup today? No. <laughs> I don't know. I am so on the fence with this one as you guys will see towards the end of the video. I am back today with another Disney villain character. But today I am going to be doing Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. Yes, Beauty and the Beast. So if you didn't hear what I just sang there, we're doing Gaston. So obviously Gaston is the villain in Beauty and the Beast. Um, I love Beauty and the Beast. I would say Beauty and the Beast, Slim Beauty and Brave are my three ultimate favourite Disney movies. So obviously I was going to do this one. So I'm just going to get into the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed and don't forget to leave me all your feedback and comments and thoughts down below in the comment section and I'll see you guys there. These lights are so bright in the morning. Oh, I can't cope. <laughs> they are so bright. So today, as you guys know already from my intro, I am going to be doing Gaston. So Gaston is the Disney villain from Beauty and the Beast. I absolutely love Beauty and the Beast, so obviously I was going to do Gaston. Although, funnily enough, I d it didn't even pop into my mind to do Gaston until somebody had actually left a comment. So if you left that comment, thank you so, so much because I have the perfect look in mind for today. This is his character here. And I apologize if you can't really see that so obviously you can see the main colors are red and like yellow kind of like gold and black the main colors I'm going to be focusing on are black kind of like that yellow gold and red I have two red eyeshadows but once you start blending them they do go a wee bit pink so <laughs> So you might have a pink Gaston today. <laughs> that is ridiculous how pale my face looks compared to my neck. <laughs> Casper, is that you? I'm first just going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Smoky Edition palette. Just take this red shade here. I've used this in a tutorial before and it was... It is okay. It did blend out slightly pink. But I'm just... I'm just going with it. Oh! Look at my wee crispy eyeballs. Okay, so I'm just going to quite heavily pack my brush and I'm just going to focus on it just right in my crease. I'm going to try and take it quite high because the look that I have in mind is very, very smoked and blown out. So I'm going to pack this on quite high because I'm obviously going to be blending out. So as I said, this shade does blend out pink. So I'm kind of in my head, the way I'm thinking of it is the higher I put it, the less I kind of have to blend out to make it look pink. It's just so hard to find like a really true red. So if anybody has any recommendations of palettes that have matte, matte reds in them, holler at me. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm actually kind of thinking, I don't know whether to blend this out, like, just the way it is, or blend out with a yellow. Hmm. Screw it, we'll just blend it out like this, I don't care. I'm just going to start blending these edges. So whenever I'm blending out, like, a block colour such as this, I always like to, for some reason, this is just me, I always like to focus on one area first. And make sure that's pretty much seamless and then just kind of go around the edges working on like one wee section at a time I don't know why I do this but it just works for me <laughs> tip Tuesday <laughs> I've gone into the BH Cosmetics palette again I'm just going to take this shade here which is like a very deep plum so I'm just gonna be using that to just deepen up the crease a wee bit me. I'm just going to carve my crease and I'm just going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Fair and I'm just going to use my usual Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Concealer Brush. I'm just going to go into the Be Perfect Cosmetics palette and I'm going to take a mixture between the yellow cane shade and this truffle shade. It's more of like a mustard yellow. I'm just going to focus this just in my inner corner. 
So I think I'm actually just going to use this shade. I did say there that I was going to go and use the Shuffle shade as well, which was more of like a mustard tone yellow. But I actually love how this looks, so I think I'm just going to stick with this colour. Next I'm just going to grab that red shade from the BH Cosmetics palette. And just on this wee brush that I have been using from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, it's the wee definer brush. And I'm just going to place this red shade just on the eye right of concealer that I placed down. And then just start kind of blending it into the yellow. I'm going to clean off my brush and then just start blending that yellow and red together. So then obviously if you know your colours, this will go orange. Next I'm just going to go into the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm just going to use this black shade here. And then take like a wee... What brush even is this? Oh, this is a sweet one. Oh, get me. Spot liner brush because I'm going to take this black right into my inner corner. Just going to blend those edges out. to continue on with that black shade and again just focusing that just on that outer corner and kind of just going on sweet small stages with this black because I don't know how it's going to be blending because in person well from what I can see it's blending a tiny sweet bit patchy so I don't want to go like really full on I think for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it at this for now. I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do this eye. And then obviously I will come back and I will finish the rest of my eyes and the rest of my face with you guys. So I'm just going to take the BH Cosmetics palette again and I'm just going to go into this red shade. And I'm just going to take that just on quite a big fluffy brush. I'm just going to take that red shade from the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm just going to focus this just on my lower lash line coming kind of like halfway in. I'm not bringing it the whole way into the inner corner because I'm wanting to put yellow there. I think that will kind of tie all together a wee bit. And then I'm just going to drag that along the lower lash line just in that inner portion. For my waterline, I really want a pop of colour, so I'm thinking of going on with the NYX Vivid Brights Vivid Halo. To finish this look off, I'm just going to use the Glamify Beauty Lashes, and these are in the style GB38. They actually sent me the other day in PR, and they are honestly beautiful. And then they sent me this other pair as well, and then I have to laugh because they also sent me sanitary tiles. <laughs> They're black sanitary tiles. But yeah, I thought that was absolutely hilarious. If I'm being honest, I won't use them because I don't get a time of the month, so yeah. <laughs> but they might come in handy eventually if I ever do get one. And these are actually body form, by the way, in case you guys are interested. Okay guys, so this is the completed tutorial. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I don't know, I honestly thought I was going to love this one. I think it's because I'm just looking at it and I'm not seeing the colours of the character that I done, the red eyeshadow I used, did blend out to pink and then because I put like a black over it, it has turned like a purple. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think, as you always do. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Twitter and Instagram. They'll all be linked and listed down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one.